stay in the night in the night in the day so um you know i'm not supposed to be doing a reading right now i'm supposed to be on my breaks okay but you know i was looking at my cards um just now and then I, mean, I was i was gonna do a reading for myself this morning and i just started picking up like a wave of energy of like anxiety and stuff so i feel like divine feminine you are picking up the like collective energy so you're picking up people energy that's around you and i feel like it's for a reason so if you come like let's say you're walking like past like your friend or your uh, mom dad cousin and you like start picking up anxiety it's because spirit is trying to warn you about this person here okay so you're picking up these people energies because they're trying to tell you what's hidden about this person i feel like with this king of cups you are very empathic here okay um so you can easily pick up emotions i feel like you're very compassionate i feel like you kind of know how to like it's it's, it's weird because i'm getting that you know how to pick up energy well so you know it's, and then that helps you be compassionate because you kind of know how to like deal with other people's emotions in that sense hmm. so let me know the resonance for you but i feel like spirit definitely been dropping some tea giving you some um downloads about someone and you hit go to anxiety all right y'all could have been up you know recently up at night thinking because you've been picking up i'm getting like psychic attacks okay not spiritual attacks psychic attacks and it feels like a spiritual attack because someone is, a, is attacking your spirit but i feel like it's through evil eye okay through their thoughts and you're picking up on it okay it is giving a lot of anxiety whatever you know whatever it whatever it is that they're trying to do is not going to work with this magician here in reverse i don't think it's magic i just think that it's projecting here a lot of projecting and i feel like it's causing you a heavy burden there's a lot of heavy energy okay high priestess here in reverse like i said there's something hidden that spirit is trying to expose to you but i feel like you're not really listening to your intuition or you've been ignoring it for a long time all right but i feel like every day you wake up and i if okay it's like every day you step more and more into your power all right i mean i feel like you know every day it gets worse and worse the anxiety the heavy energy okay you fill in and picking up this person's energy. This this is someone that could be a Cancer or a Pisces with the High Priestess. It doesn't have to be. But this is someone that's very emotional as well. I'm getting emotional about you. All right. So this could be someone who you no longer want to go down a new path with. But this tool wants here reverse because this is. I feel like this person is a bit in, indecisive. They don't know where they want to be or go in life. And I feel like you're very free flowing. Then this person was not flowing with your flow. So you had to kind of let them go there. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles here in reverse. You put a stop to it. You put a stop to this connection. All right. And I feel like since then, your, I guess your ex, whoever it is that you disconnected from, been sending you evil eye. Okay. They feel like you don't love them anymore with this Queen of Cups here in reverse. This could even be a mother. It don't have to be. Um, But... I feel like you are letting the situation go. There could even been a falling out. All right. Dang, the cards are just flipping, but I'm not ready to pull that King of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this person feel lost without you, honestly. I feel like this person don't feel the same without you. It's like they need you. And I've been picking it, picking this up in my divine feminine readings, not all the time, but for some that you it was just like someone that just needs you and they have a hard time letting go. I feel like they need you for money. That's why they came up as the King of Pentacles in reverse because they need you for like it's like you keep them stable somehow, okay? So um what's going on? What is this energy I'm feeling? You know when you feel a bit uneasy, you know that's when something is not right, like something is trying to warn you. It's almost like you you can't get peace. How much how bad you want peace is like you just can't get it. <laughs> I, i'll have like a peaceful day one day then the next day i'm feeling all over the place next day i'm feeling on top of the world then the next day I'm, I'm feeling back down again so i definitely know how it is but i feel like somebody does not want you to be successful in life without them all right seven of cups here in reverse and i feel like whatever illusion you was under whatever you know spell you was under not like not like a legit spell but you know whatever spell this whatever power this person had over you i feel like you came out of that cloudiness and you're seeing things a lot clearly and i feel like you can you clearly see that this person don't want you to elevate and be successful in life because they want you to because they want it's, it's almost like you're realizing that this person can't want better for me 
because they don't want better for themselves and you realize that most of your time and energy is going to be trying to better this person six of pentacles and i feel like with the six of pentacles i don't know why this is a giving card i feel like you're giving more into yourself to be honest i feel like you saw that this situation was not going to work so you decided to give to yourself and i feel like this is when the attacks started to come this is when where the evil eye came in from this person yeah look impress here reverse they don't want you to be divine without them all right they yeah i feel like they honestly wanted you to give 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 to them and then you lose okay because as you can see on this card there's more coins on this side than on this side and i read the cards as a story you see this side is facing the impress reverse so this is how much you're receiving but this is how much you're giving to them and you can clearly see he's giving this person money first and he's not he didn't give him anything so it's almost like you got to put them first and put yourself last that's not fair okay and i even feel like you stop communicating with this person because you know that they're going to want to try to come in and reconcile but this person needs you i'm not even lying they need you right now for some reason yeah you you are their ten of cups you are their happiness but they're draining as heck yeah, and page of cups here in reverse. I just feel like they don't make you happy and they just left you disappointed. I, if this was a family dynamic, if you had children with this person, all right, they left you and the kids disappointed. Your children are disappointed in this person as well. They're disappointed in them as well. Um, collective. And like I said, her in reverse to be a Virgo, they just feel lost without you. They feel disconnected. I feel like some of you guys also have been feeling lost and disconnected about something else here. And I feel like you've been feeling regretful i feel like this has something to do with your inner child all right i feel like you may have been doing some inner child healing in the midst of all this um mess that you've been going through with this person like feeling their emotions and things like that feeling this person wanting you back i feel like you've definitely been working on healing on your inner child trying to remove and let go of these, these um these, these hidden memories that you had and um about i guess in your childhood whatever it is it, it, i feel like it affected you it kind of was like a stamp in your on your spirit and your soul right so you had to um sort of work on that to release it but you've been feeling you've been trapped in fear for some of you guys you've been feeling trapped in fear you've been feeling stuck mentally like you can't kind of come out of this mental block but i feel like you are going to soon release whatever that is holding you back that's keeping you like i'm getting tightness so you may just feel like compressed right now i feel like that energy is going to be released here but something from the past some type of cycle from the past has to be completed death card in reverse this is you still resisting or holding on to something i feel like i feel like there's something that you realize i feel like you realize y'all it's a lot first y'all got this ex coming down, down your throat then you're dealing with your own stuff and now i'm picking up that you realize that there was someone else that you was dealing with okay there's like some type of cycle that it's like okay let me hold on because that's not what i'm trying to say there's something from your past here that you had a hard time letting go it could be linked to your childhood or um for some of y'all because you know i feel like some of you guys may even be dealing with a death this could be someone that you was close with from a childhood okay and so you could have been dealing with that but for others of you you realize something that you needed to let go of and I feel like you are now completing that cycle here. But I feel like it's a situation that you haven't healed from. And I feel like the situation needs healing. I'm going to go into that death card reverse. Because I feel like this is something else that's being revealed. And that cycle needs to be completed. I feel like for some of y'all, I feel like for most of y'all, who I'm reading for, you figured out whatever this death card energy reverse is. Whatever this, this resistance, okay, whatever you was holding on to. I feel like for some reason it's linked to like a child and a child. Okay. Some of you guys, it could be, um, all right, let's just keep going. I don't want to jump the gun here. Why is the death card in the gun? Okay, we have the nine of cups, wish fulfillment. You're getting your wishes in judgment. I feel like, you know what spirit is saying? Whatever this childhood memory is all right i feel like this is someone that could have hurt you that broke your heart as a child okay and i feel like this person this mercury retrograde is coming around it could be a parent all right whoever hurt you as a child is coming back around 
okay? I don't want to. I don't know if it's for a second chance or just for forgiveness. I feel like they're coming back around for forgiveness, and I feel like I had a hard time saying that. Y'all don't want to forgive this person. Y'all don't want this person to come back. But honestly, my spirit guys are saying you're, the best thing, the best advice they can give you is for you to forgive this person with the judgment and the nine of cups. You're gonna get wish fulfillment once you release this resentment from your heart. Okay, I feel like this person scarred you. Okay, and it left you confused as a child, but you still move forward anyway. But every time I feel like you will move forward, this memory will kind of pop up in your mind. Your inner child will kind of bring that memory up and it will cause you mental conflict. It will even cause you conflict within yourself. Okay? And I feel like it will cause you to be, to be a bit guarded. And I feel like in your love life, you don't... I feel like for some of you guys, y'all don't really trust men because you never really had a man, a masculine figure in your life here. So I feel like you are very cryptic. You don't open up too much. You don't open up much. It's like you say what you want to say. All right. And love don't have to just be in your relationships. It can just, it can even be with your friends, okay? Certain people who you deal with. <sighs> Let's see what else. There. I feel like this reading is all over the place, but I feel like y'all dealing with a lot. I'm picking up different downloads from you, from you, um, from different divine feminines y'all dealing with a lot y'all dealing with an ex that can't let you go that's disappointed that you're moving on without them and sending you evil eye okay some of you guys could have been another figure all right for others of you y'all dealing with your inner child here trying to heal with that y'all been feeling stuck and stagnant trying to release this energy but every time you think you released it it'll come back around okay because i feel like with the six of cups being in reverse it kind of left a um it kind of stamped your spirit like is it something that was that's the only way I can say it is like stamp your spirit. This is something that you know you had a hard time getting over. But I feel like you are now completing this cycle. I feel like y'all realized that it was this past energy, that death card that happened to you as a child. I feel like you realized that that was, that was what, what was really holding you back in life from opening up in love or like how to love, okay? And I feel like you realized that for some of y'all, y'all realize that's why you've been attracting to certain lovers in your past is because of this situation something like again some of you guys y'all didn't have a dad and now your dad's coming back around after many years later and you realize you not having a dad is the reason why you picked up bad partners a man or woman because a man needs a, his father too for others of you something happened in your childhood where you just shut down period I don't want to say it, but I feel like y'all, if y'all been through it, y'all know what I'm talking about. If it's for you, it's for you. And y'all trying to complete the cycle. Y'all coming off the cycle here, but y'all do got to fully let go of the past. Don't run from your thoughts here. Just let them flow. Because that's, 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 I feel like that's one way to release. For me, I realize I can't run from the emotion. I just got to let it flow. So that's, once I let it flow, that's when I'm able to, you know, manipulate it in my way. So I can transmute that into something beautiful. So instead of me pondering on the same memory and the same thought, I would just find something new to kind of to kind of counteract that. So instead of that thought of I'm insecure, I'll let that flow and be like, you know, I know I'm not insecure. I love myself. Look where I am right now. I should be proud. You know, that's what I mean. <laughs> okay, so let's see what else. Yeah, y'all gonna get wish fulfillment when you forget this situation. Amina. Yeah, look, I can't make this up. This for some of you guys, y'all could be fire signs, okay. Um, but or if not, I feel like some of you guys, y'all could be fire signs and y'all dealing with all this stuff at once. But if not, this can just be every time you try to step into your your power here, try to be, you know. Being that Queen of Wands energy, something else is being revealed that brings you back to um instability. But with this lovers, the Emperor reverse and the Sun reverse, I feel like right now you guys are on a divine path, and this divine path involves healing. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's y'all dealing with love with this lovers care, y'all dealing with either your father, okay, or some type of dominant energy that took advantage of you as a child, all right, or you're dealing with your childhood, period, your inner child, period, with this um, sun here in reverse. You're dealing with your inner child, period, all right, and you're doing a lot of inner child healing because you realize your inner child been very insecure since a little girl or boy, and you realize you need to heal that and, and, and change that. 
but don't run from these thoughts i feel like a lot of y'all y'all cut out these thoughts here because i feel like you know for me to heal i have to let it go but you have to that's I, listen again that's your inner child bringing that up because that's like the curiosity side of you that's the inner child of you you know we're very curious as a child and you're in your mind it's curious so them thoughts will kind of come past to see if it's still affecting you and if you become the nine of wands and come become a bit guarded and timid that means that it is still bothering you so you kind of need to kind of talk with yourself and have a conversation with yourself about this type of conversation with your inner child so that could be journaling okay journaling you could, that's a, that's a way a form of communication right writing things down so i feel like that's or you can talk to yourself if you feel the need to do that okay i don't judge but yeah yeah y'all back and forth with yourself y'all back and forth with yourselves okay tell me y'all could be leos but if not it don't have to be y'all just don't feel strong you don't really feel powerful right now because you're dealing with all this stuff and excuse the baby i'm so sorry my baby was screaming i don't know if i'm gonna upload this but y'all dealing with so much stuff okay and y'all need healing from this past pain in the current pain y'all need healing some of y'all need to heal from this heartbreak from this lover because y'all had y'all had y'all was set on marrying this person and some i'm here emerging some of y'all was gonna bring their children and y'all children together and become a family but it didn't happen that way maybe this person wants this now but it's kind of too late for that i feel like you need to heal from all of that from love your inner child all right and, and this father energy or whatever dominant energy that took advantage of you okay you need to heal from this you need to heal from this you need to heal from this because it's, it's dampering your spirit okay with the ten of swords it's dampering your spirit all right and i feel like it has it's, it's having you question a lot of things with the seven of pentacles and eight of um and ten of pentacles in reverse it's like you're starting to question you know are you on the right path are you ready for this this is what i'm picking up for some of you guys got you questioning your success you know are you in the right place you know, are you really happy? Is it something that you're supposed to do? It's because you are in pain and you need to heal. Some of y'all could be an Aquarius, but you guys are meant to be stars, okay? You don't have to be on social media to be a star. You could be a star in your field. You could be a star, you know, in any, any, in all aspects, okay? And I feel like right now, I feel like y'all just don't feel like working. Y'all don't feel like doing anything. Y'all just want to lounge around and, you know... I feel like, honestly, no, that's the advice Spirit is saying. That's the advice. Y'all need to kind of stop using work to distract yourself. You need to allow it around a little bit and just take in and process everything that you're going through right now. Yeah, Page of Pentacles here in reverse. Spirit is saying stop. Page of Pentacles, he is, um, he loves to learn. He likes to practice things, okay? This is almost like a grower, Spirit is saying. <laughs> but in reverse, Spirit is saying to stop. Okay, stop learning new things right now. And I know that will make sense. But that's what I'm getting. Learn yourself. I feel like y'all are trying to learn new things to apply it to your business or your work. Study. Page of Pentacles could be um, someone that goes to school. You could be a, um, someone that studies things. I feel like you need to take a break. You have a headache. You need to take a break. And process what's really going on. So when you come to these readings... You won't come confused. This will just be confirmation for you. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like you guys just don't feel in the right space right now with this fool here in reverse. You just don't feel like you are ready to continue this new chapter that you built for yourself because you need to heal. I feel like some of you guys need to stop communicating with certain people, stop talking to other people here. And I feel like with this King of Cups, you need to heal yourself. King of Cups, like I said, very compassionate energy, all right, and um, he's in control of his emotions. I feel like Spirit is saying you need to take control of your emotions here and heal, because you can do that. You can do that. And look, probably more fire energy. Some of y'all could be fire signs, okay? Honestly, I'm really picking up fire energy up in this reading here. Y'all don't have to be fire. This can just be passion. Y'all lost y'all spark, and y'all need, need to regain y'all spark again here with this page of um, wands. And that spark is going to come back once you heal. Okay, I'm sorry if this reading was all over the place, you guys. I'm sorry, but... Ooh! What? <laughs> Someone was trying to do magic here to attach a devil onto you. A witch, Spirit is saying. A witch. 
Y'all, this is like four chapters. Chapter one, love. Chapter two, inner child. Chapter three, um, father figure. Chapter four, there was a witch here that was trying to keep you binded. Okay? They were trying to keep you binded to some type of de demonic entity here. <laughs> Hangman here in reverse. This is someone that can't let go of attachment. Hi. Upright or reverse the stagnant energy for me. So, I feel like with it in, in reverse, it's like you're completely stagnant. You don't even see things from a higher perspective. Okay? You need to be in this position so you can see things from a higher perspective all right and the upright is almost like you don't see it that way he can untie himself and he can just keep moving i mean i see it that way other readers see it other readers, readers see it that way too but i think that resonates for you but there was a wish that was trying to keep you binded to some type of in demonic entity here and i don't feel like it worked nope well, the fortune reverse it went back around but i feel like this demonic spirit was supposed to well it was planned to keep you in a karmic cycle but it did not work that karmic cycle was you being binded to the spirit but it did not work it got sent back it did not work whatever three of cups is also rituals okay if i ever make a tarot deck i'm gonna put that because it does represent rituals as well y'all see three people here chanting dancing here that could be a ritual i feel like they try to do a ritual to stop you and it did not work all right, it was not successful here. And I feel like that's why your intuition been feeling blocked. Because spirit had to send this energy away. Like, okay. And some of you guys, y'all was dealing with evil eye as well. So y'all was dealing with a witch and someone that was sending y'all evil eye. For whoever this is resonating for. Okay, because I feel like this, this is going to be for different groups of people. For some of you guys, this, is, you, this whole reading is for you. All right, but be a sense of and it's going to give you more mental clarity. I feel like you're going to start feeling more clear in your mind in the next few days. All right? Yeah, look to a source here in reverse. You're going to be seeing things clear. You're no longer going to be feeling stuck, stagnant. Your third eye has been blocked because spirit had to protect you from this from this, this devil here, this witch, because this witch was trying to manifest for this devil to cause you hallucinations, <clears throat> cause you, you know, kind of scare you a bit. So spirit had to kind of block your third eye so you won't even be affected from it. Yeah, look, it got rejected and sent back. And you've been feeling your third eye being rejected. I feel like if you guys are spiritual watching this, y'all y'all missed <laughs> doing your readings, channeling, doing your energy work, you know. But you had to take a break. Spirit had to, like, kind of take you out of that situation so they can send it back. But it's been rejected here. Listen, there was some type of drama with this five of mine. And I feel like you dismissed this drama here. If For some of you guys, there was someone did come at you. And you dismiss them and they decide to, to do witchcraft, okay? You know this person does witchcraft. If you guys are spiritual, this is you against a witch, okay? A light worker against a witch. No offense to good witches. I'm not saying anything bad. But y'all know how it is, okay? And like I said, it's being sent away. And you have new opportunities coming in. I feel like this witch kind of saw that you had new opportunities coming in. I'm hearing new subscribers. This is not for me, y'all. Whoever's a reader watching, I picked up a few readers there watching me, so that's cool. They was definitely trying to send your new subscribers away. And they was going to try, and they was even trying to um make you walk away from your destiny here. Alright, you see these cups are gold. I feel like this is almost like the accolades and rewards you run and you won, you um achieved in the spiritual realm. And they kind of wanted you to walk away. Look, this moon is here. They were trying to keep you in illusion here. But they did some type of moon magic. They might might have done this at night. To try to get you to walk away. I love the moon. I do positive magic, okay? <laughs> but people do use the moon for low um for lower things, you know, evil things. And that shit is gonna come back around because you're not supposed to use Mother Moon for for um evil shit. Alright? That's your free will if you choose to do it, but just know that shit coming back around because you you use her energy for evil, you're manipulating it for the wrong thing. Alright, yeah, look, they were this is spirit the ace of cups. Cups period represents spirituality. I read this in many tarot books. They were trying to block your spiritual gifts here, okay? They were trying to make you walk into a cycle where you're not spiritual, you're blocked. Because this person thought that you was, um, you thought you was all of that. Whoever I'm reading for, listen, they were some sneaky energy. But they're being stopped, all right? That energy is being blocked and stopped. And it's being sent back. Spirit sent that shit right back. Whatever entity they try to use, they sent it back. Mm -hmm. All right, and it's about to cause them a time moment, and they're about to be exposed for being a liar. You may even expose them for being a liar. You may even expose them for trying to block your third eye. All right, yeah, you're about to be sitting back on your throne. But whatever demonic entity they try to use, spirit is sending it back. With this Knight of Wands and King of Pentacles verse, I'm seeing this is the entity being sent back. Okay, you know the Knight of Wands, he moves fast. You see how he's he's already ready. So this is like a greed spirit. They did some type of offering. This is a type of entity where you have to give it something. You have to gift it something. Spirit is saying you have to gift it something for it to work in your favor. That's why it's coming up at the King of Pentacles. 
in reverse. It's a greedy spirit. It's a greed spirit. We all know King of Pentacles is versus greedy. It's a greed spirit. And spirit and Knight of Wands is my karmic card. Okay, depending on, on how the energy is flowing. This was a karmic spirit that was sent to kind of cause chaos in your household. All right, and spirit is sending their ass a whole tire moment and they about to get exposed for being a liar here. You about to expose them. This shit pissed you off. This shit pissed you off here. This shit is pissed you off. All right, and I'm saying pissed because you're about to find out about it if you haven't already. Okay, because I should have said will be pissed, but I feel like a lot of you guys, y'all about to find this shit out. <laughs> y'all about to find, like, probably right after I upload this video, y'all about to find this shit out on the next day. Okay, because within the next few days, I feel like this shit is being, I feel like a lot of you guys has already been sent back. But I did say in the, in the, um, early in the video that in the next few days, it's going to be sent back. I feel like that few days already came to pass. And now it's about to be revealed to you what this, um, what's done. Okay. Some of you guys, this witch paid someone to do this. Because they wanted to make sure the spell would work. But you got back on your throne. And like I said, you pissed. You pissed. A lot of you guys are star seeds and y'all not even from this planet. I, I'm picking up a star seed, but I'm, I can't. Okay. I, I picked up Arcturian before. But I'm not really picking up a Pacific one. But it starts with an A. I'm getting Arcturian. Um, but y'all not from this planet and y'all are royalty on the spiritual side. And I feel like you guys are pissed off. Y'all could be earth signs. Don't have to be. I'm not looking at the signs. I'm looking at this. You are back on your throne and you got your pinnacle back because a lot of you guys are readers and y'all make money off your spiritual gifts and they were trying to stifle that. All right. You are coming back on top and you're pissed to tell with the tip temperance in reverse. The temperance in reverse could be someone that is mad. You're pissed. Sagittarius energy. You're pissed. Ten of Wands, we're trying to send you some heavy energy. And your spirit guys told you about it and they took you out of this. All right. And <laughs> your spirit guys told you about it and they took you out of this. The higher fit is a guide. Okay. They told you about this nigga. They snitched. <laughs> I love spirit. Because they be telling. And that's the thing. People don't realize that spirit tells. Okay. Spirit will tell. You know what I mean? Time of my um my spirit guys and told on people. <laughs> My children's father even got the nerve to say my spirit guys are a snitch. No, they're not a snitch. They love me. They're here to guide me. If you're not doing right by me, they're going to tell me. But you're you with this page of swords, you're going to be your you already been alerted. You already have you already have an idea about who it is. We about to expose them for their lies and their trickery, okay? And you're stepping back into your power. You're gaining your passion again. King and Queen of Wands reverse. Your yin and yang is balanced. Okay, I should do it like this. Your yin and yang is balanced, and I feel like you guys have a person that is watching you right now, okay? And this person, they, they've been attracted to you for a long time, and I feel like they're finally going to say something to you or let you know how they feel about you if they haven't already. But I feel like they haven't already. They're going to start doing it. <laughs> oh, wow, that's funny. The four wands came up with the moon here reversed. I can't make this up. They're going to start. Remember, it was reversed, and it fell on the floor. They're going to reveal their innermost Spirit said their animal emotions towards you. Four of wands. And God, they're gonna tell you that they want a relationship. Even marriage. If you let if you let them take it there. I don't know if y'all serious about marriage right now, but I did pick that up. I don't know if y'all are going to marry this person, but I picked that up. Whoo! Almost like an emergency reading. I feel like this was an emergency reading. Because a lot of you guys um been feeling stuck, blocked, lost. Okay, but the answers you need are coming. Okay, things are being illuminated to you today. Things are going to be illuminated to you today. If not today, tomorrow. But no, not spirit said no more past Thursday. All right, and I just, and then some of you guys, y'all going to find out today. All right, that this person been doing this to y'all. But I love y'all. Namaste.